welcome back to the Design, Creativity and Technology channel. My name's Aaron. In today's episode, I'm going to show you the first power on of my Skyfire CNC machine. So I'm really excited to do this today, guys. It's been a... Uh, I've been waiting, waiting with anticipation <laughs> to turn this machine on, I, I can tell you right now. So today I've got the electrician around home and uh, Jacinda is wiring up the power for my little Skyfire CNC mill. So I'll turn it around and show you just center at work. Now ladies and gentlemen, if you want a job done properly, you get a female electrician to do it. And that way then you know you're getting great bang for buck. Quality and clean. Quality and what, sorry? And clean. And clean. She's, so you're gonna sweep up when you're finished? I don't have to. Good girl. So what are you doing here Jacinda? Uh, wiring power, so you will be able to Connect your plug into a hanging pendant because who doesn't like industrial connections? Connections, yes. All right. So what what size cable are you running here? Uh, four mil, four thirty-two mil. amp. So four mil cable. Okay. So the, so the circuits will be capable of um, running thirty-two amps, and that's why Jacinda's running the four mil cable. I'll grab the um, what's it called? The connection on the ground here. What do you call that thing? The plug. That is a plug. And you can see it's a, um, she's got me industrial size one, which is really good to flow that sort of current. All right, now you may ask guys, um, so why is, why, uh, how come I'm not wiring this up myself? And uh, I'm gonna tell you right now, I'll put Jacinda on and she can tell you why I'm not doing it myself. Because you need a licensed electrician. Yep, and so in Australia, you have to be a licensed, don't you? Just yes, enough. you have to. Yep. And what happens if you're not licensed and you wire electricity up yourself? You can. There goes your insurance if you have a house fire that is caused from an electrical fault, let's say. Okay. Well, there you have it. You have it from the electrician's mouth. I was going to say horse's mouth, but you throw a spanner at me or a screwdriver <laughs> at me. Alrighty, I'll flick back later, uh, hopefully, when we power up. So I've tested, we've got 237 volts and we've got a green light on, so it means go. Okay, would you like to do the honours and press the power on? Yep. Brilliant. So we've got power to the machine. So it sounds like we've got some alarms going there to centre. I think um, it's low air and low um, machine oil as well. I think you're the brains behind this project. Yep, very little brains. <laughs> so, the system is initialising, Skyfire CNC. There we have, we've got a, a light on, you can hear the alarm going, we've got e-stop alarms going here, so... Alright, watch this space, we'll come back in a minute, or maybe tomorrow, and tomorrow. Sort, sort out the alarms. <laughs> Alright, thank you Jacinta for your help. No problem, thanks Aaron. Well here we are guys, ain't she a thing of beauty? Uh, the best thing here today is that little green light showing down here, which means I've got power to the machine. Now my electrician Jacinta came over through the week and ran all the wiring for me, so big shout out to Jacinta, thank you very much. Uh, I can't thank you enough, you've really helped me out here. So what I'm going to do now guys, I'm going to press the magical button and let it power up, and uh, you take a look for yourself guys. Here we go. She's coming to life. Now at the moment, the controller's just initialising, it's booting up, it's got the Skyfire logo on there. And there it is guys, it's booted up pretty quick if you, if you ask me. So what I'll do here, I'll throw the e-stop, and you can hear it alarm out. So with the stop on, it alarms out, the light comes up on the top. I'll just start to scroll back a little bit, pan back a little bit here, and you can see it. Alrighty. I'll reset that uh, e stop. Hit reset on the controller. So what we'll do now, guys, I'll turn that interior light on for you, give you a better look. Isn't that the coolest? You can open the door. 
So what I'll do now, I'll flick over to the controller to the home, I'll home the machine all the way over to the, to the right to home here. Press cycle start and the machine will home. So the machine's home now guys, I can go back to my job function. Now in my job I can use the pendant, so if I flick over to MPG, X-axis, I'll go hold the button in, you can see I can jog around the table, not a problem at all. In the Z as well. Now if I don't want to use the pendant, I can use the AdTech controller as well by flicking the switch back into job here and I can uh, jog down, jog up in the X and also in the Y. Uh, from the controller here guys, we can start the spindle as well. So spindle clockwise, I can stop the spindle, run it in anti-clockwise. I can uh, manually eject that tool as well. Uh, from in here I can unclamp the chuck and catch it. Isn't that the coolest guys, honestly? Like, I'd kill for that with my other machine. Just the ability with the pull start, get rid of that stupid straight shank tooling. It drove me bananas. Put it back in. Of course, I can clamp it back up or unclamp it. Back in, line up the little tangs here. Clamp the chuck back in. So this time, we might do an automatic tool change. So over here, if I put it in MDI, and I've got to run it in MDI, let's just scroll down here, and the block. We can just come up here so we can go um, M06. Uh, we'll put in T25, so T05, Enter Block, and I can press Start. It prompts me to run an MDI, so I press Enter Block to run it. And here we go. Guys, I tell you what. How friggin' sweet is that? I'm in love, honestly. I can't believe for this sort of money, guys, for this uh, this bang for buck, I've got this sort of uh, set up at home and I'm friggin' stoked, I really am. Skyfire, you're a bloody legend. Okay, guys, so I've calmed down a little bit now and got my hand off it. Um, the biggest drama I had here was uh, a couple of things, was running power and of course connecting the air. Now that's not Skyfire's fault, that's my problem, okay? The air compressor I had was a, oh, it was from a hardware chain over here in Australia called Bunnings, it was noisy as crap. Honestly, it was up around probably 95 to 100 dBA. Um, you know, the whole family were on Prozac tablets to put up with the noise. Uh, it just drove me bananas. So I stumbled across this old air compressor and it would be about 20 to 30 year old and I brought it home, cleaned it up. Well, you wouldn't believe it. The, uh, the compressor was leaking oil, um, so I pulled that apart, bought it out, put it in the lathe. I should have done a video on it, it would have been a good video. So I bought it out, put a new seal in, um, just like a, a normal um, timing cover, you know, crankshaft oil seal. Started back up, bang, it blew out my um, RCD, which is uh, over here we have what's called a residual current device in the house, so it's um, earth leakage protection, so the motor's stuffed. So I had another motor that my um, one of my ex-students, Travis, so Trav gave me this two horsepower motor. And so I had to take it to work. It wouldn't fit, of course, so I had to go back to work, use some plasma can, cut up some brackets. What I'll do, I'll pan over to show you. But the most important thing uh, beside the air, guys, was the bloody power. Now, my um, power board coming in off the street is right behind me. So right in that corner is where the power is. Now, it would have been so easy to hook into there, just drill a hole through the brickwork and run three metres of cable. But no, the regulations stipulate, the electrical act says that um, my, so my board outside doesn't have a main switch, it has a fuse in it. So if the joint's on fire, the fire brigade can pull the fuse. But the main switch is in a subboard inside. So the regulations state that you cannot uh, any electrician can only hook in at the main switch. They can't hook in at the meter box. It's illegal. And if they did it, they'd lose their license and cop a huge fine. So um, my electrician, Jacinta, she, uh, poor little bugger, she had to get up in the roof. And I'm glad it's her because this 
This ain't gonna fit through the manhole. But she's tiny, she got up in the roof, she ran four mil cable, we're all the way through the roof, dropped it down the subboard. She, poor bugger, she, she had a brand new hammer, claw hammer. She put it down and it fell down the wall, so it's, it's buried in my wall. She'll never get that hammer back, so I owe you a hammer just in her, I won't forget. And uh, she's run four mil cable down the wall here. I don't know if you can see it in the corner there. And uh, she's done a really trick job. So she's run a 32 amp circuit all the way over here. So what I'll do, I'll pan over and show you this little air compressor. And uh, you can see for yourself, guys. So I'll just move it away. This is my uh, Humpy Dumpy sound editing in here. So I've shut it under the, under the cover there. And it's, uh, it's not too bad. Have a listen, I'll drop some air out of the tank. I'm not sure if you can hear that on camera, it's fairly loud. I'm just looking at the, um, I'm half bloody blind these days, gotta wear glasses. Yeah, so you can hear that on camera, it's peaking out a little bit. But that's not too bad, I'll zoom in for you. Okay guys, that concludes today's video about powering up my Skyfire CNC machine. Um, thanks again for dropping by my channel and checking it out and uh, always remember guys be good to yourself and uh, keep spinning those bits and ripping chips. Catch on the next video.